Hello, everyone. Welcome to CyberLink webinar. I'm Steven, the instructor for tonight's course. Uh, it's summer again, so it's time to plan your summer vacation. So today we are going to spend one hour to show you some tricks uh, for using our Power Director to create great travel video. And also we'll show you some tips for using our mobile app, uh, Photo Director Mobile and Power Director Mobile to create videos and photos when you're on the go. Okay, check it out. So uh, before we start today's course, we are using uh, YouTube live stream to do the live casting today. So you can see um, the, 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 this is the interface you're seeing at your site. So um, if you encounter any uh, glitches like uh, the freeze frame or the audio distorted uh, during a live cast, don't panic. You can simply uh, reload and refresh the page to reload the video. Usually this will help. And to get the best viewing quality, please make sure uh, you go to the setup icon and change the resolution to 720p, which you can get the best uh, viewing quality. And we're having the, uh, our sampling staff to do online support um, at the chat window. So if you have any question regarding the uh, using of the software or regarding purchasing or offer, you can all ask a question. Um, you can all ask a question in the chat window. And for those who watch on YouTube, uh, watch on Facebook, uh, make sure you click the link above to access to our YouTube live stream so that you can get the best viewing quality. So let's start today's course. All right, so in today's course, we're uh, uh, covering four parts. The first part is using some template tools in PowerDirector to help you create video in five minutes. We'll demonstrate uh, the slideshow creator, theme designer, and uh, a new feature in PowerDirector 14 called Express Project, which can help you uh, create video in pretty short time. And many of you are first time using Power Director or still new to the program, don't know how to start with. So we'll spend some time in the second section to talk about uh, Power Director's interface, uh, including what is timeline and how you can uh, add uh, more interesting elements like titles, particle, and animated object to your video uh, using our PIP designer. And also we'll show you one interesting feature called motion tracker uh, in Power Director 14, which is pretty cool for you to create some amazing effects. In the third part for today's presentation, we will um, show you a new product in our Power Director family called Action Director. And the fourth part uh, in today's demo, we will show you two mobile apps. Uh, Power Director Mobile is our Android app to edit video. And Photo Director Mobile is our photo, photo editing app on Android and iOS. So we will show you some uh, interesting examples how you can create uh, amazing videos and photos during your trip. So let's start. All right, so upon launching Power Director 14, you'll see there are five blocks, uh, full feature editor, easy editor, and express project theme designer, slideshow creator. So uh, the, the three icons at the bottom are the template-based tool in Power Director, which uh, the slideshow creator uh, can help you import your photo and you can create a video slideshow pretty quickly. And we got a very interesting feature called uh, the bit detection, which can map the transition of your video slideshows with the music bit. So make a very nice looking video uh, out from your travel photos. And the second feature here you can see is the theme designer. It's a new tool we have since uh, Power Director 12. So it can combine using your video and the photo elements. And we got more than 20 sets of uh, 3D animated templates for you to choose from. So you can easily drag and drop uh, your videos and photos to the template and create video in pretty short time. And those videos are looking awesome. And the third feature we'll show you today uh, is Express Project. It's a new feature uh, in Power Director 14, which is using the timeline interface of uh, Power Director. So we got uh, more than 30 templates in the Express Project room that you can drag and drop it uh, to your timeline and uh, uh, use your video and photos in those templates to create a video. And the bad thing is that it's utilizing uh, Power Director's timeline interface. So you got the most uh, flexibility uh, to do the editing and tweak of all the elements on the timeline. So this three template tool uh, from easy to professional is slideshow creator, theme designer, and Express Project is the most professional one. Okay, so let's first take a look at this video. It's created by our slideshow creator. So you can see uh, we use a lot of uh, photos from my recent trip to Okinawa, which is a southern island in uh, Japan. 
So I, turn, I create this video in just uh, two minutes. I just import all my photos and add the background music so that uh, Power Director can help me generate a pretty nice little key slideshow video in pretty short time. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Let me launch Power Director. So you see again, here are five icons showing here. So you can click on the slideshow creator. Okay. Okay, so now that uh, after you launch slideshow creator, you can import your photos uh, from the folder. So for example, I got a lot of photos from my original trip, so I import them all. So these are the photo I'm going to use to create a video slideshow. Then next, I'm going to select the style and music. So we got more than 10 templates for you to choose from um, for, to create a video slideshow. So for example, I choose this one, sale, which is, a, is the effect you see in the demo video. The next step, I'll add the music uh, to this video. So I can select the music track uh, to, to this slideshow video. And we got some uh, settings you can do in uh, the slideshow creator room. The first one is the slideshow preference. Click it, you can select to um, fit your photos to music, which means you've got the full length of music and the tempo, uh, the, the photos is spacing on the music, uh, the whole length. Or the other way is that fit music to photos, which can give you a shorter video uh, and, um, and, and the, the music will be trimmed basing on the length of your photo elements. Okay, and the other setting up is the music preference where you can uh, still trim down your music if you want it shorter, and we can enable the fading and fade out effect to not make the um, beginning and ending too strange or too sudden. And once it's done, you can click on next. Then Power Director will start to generate a slideshow video for you. You take uh, a little time. And remember that uh, we, we said that we got a bit, uh, bit detection feature in uh, the slideshow creator. So you can take a look at the video. Actually, uh, it's following the bit of the music to change uh, the photo slides. Okay, and here are some more things we can change uh, in the slideshow. For example, like in this shot, I want the group shot in the main image, and while this uh, flower shot at the, uh, the right side. So we can go to the customize room, and to select the slides you want to change, then simply drag and drop it uh, to the image you want to replace, so that you now see this group shot is in the main image while the flower is at the right side. And when everything is okay, you can click on next, uh, to produce your video. So you can either produce your video right away, or if you want to burn a disk, you can create this right away. Or if you want to continue editing, like adding some titles or adding um, more videos to uh, this video slideshow, then you can go to advanced editing to go to Power Director's timeline interface to continue editing using Power Director. All right, so this is the slideshow creator. And next we will show you is the theme designer. Okay, so you can see this video is actually uh, composed by a lot of uh, photos and the video uh, from my recent trip to Okinawa. And you also see uh, there are some text inside of uh, the video, which uh, you can change it, uh, even, even if you are using uh, a template-based uh, tool in PowerDirector. So using Theme Designer is uh, pretty simple that uh, you can, oh, hold on. We can launch Power Director interface again. Okay, then click on Theme Designer. Now you enter the Theme Designer room uh, in Power Director 14. Okay, so you see uh, here are a lot of themes for you to choose from. So we have themes for Action Sport like this one, and we have a theme look like a Facebook timeline, look uh, uh, like this one. 
Okay, so in this template, there are a lot of uh, placeholders. The placeholders means uh, the number, uh, the, the place where you can put your videos and photo resources to. And this uh, little text bubble uh, beneath uh, the thumbnail means how many photos or how many video placeholders uh, you need to use uh, in this template. Okay, so we got more than 20 set of uh, templates inside of uh, the Sim Designer room for you to choose from. And inside of the, each template set, there are five template uh, sequences, including one opening, three middle, and one closing. So there are many ways for you to assemble the video. You can either choose the whole sim set, or uh, if you want to choose them one by one, like I want this plus a Facebook scene plus this ending. So I choose one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I totally choose uh, six templates. Then next, I click on OK. Then you'll see these templates, uh, these template cards have been adding to uh, my template sequences. And if I want to uh, add my media to uh, the media room, I can import the media uh, from my folder. So for example, here, a lot of the videos and photos, I can add them open so that uh, your medias and photos are imported to the template. And the next thing we'll do is we want to um, drag and drop the media content to the template like this way. OK, so that you see uh, your videos and photos are being put uh, in, the, in, in the library. And let me try with this one. Okay, so you see here are some different uh, icons showing up here. Like this one in uh, placeholder number two means you can use videos or photos. And in placeholder number three means you can use only photos. So for example, I want uh, this video showing here. I can put it in this template. Okay, so let's take a look uh, what it looks like. So you've got a pretty nice opening of the video. And we see here is a placeholder for the text. Uh, so you can change in the text settings here. Type in the text you want. Then uh, you need to take some time. You can see now that the text has been changed to Okinawa, where I travel to. OK, then you can follow the same procedure to uh, check if there are other texts. Uh, in this template. For example, here's another placeholder, so I can change the text at the, this site. And we selected a lot of uh, videos and photos in this template. And since I'm using a video here, but seems uh, this video is a little bit too long, so if you want to trim down the video, you can click on this video icon and click the trim clip, uh, the trim icon, this scissor icon, then uh, you can uh, trim down the video to make it shorter. OK, and click OK to pass the footage back to your project. So you'll get something like this. OK, and we'll still see a lot of uh, placeholders in uh, the, the template cards. And if you are too lazy to uh, do this uh, filling one by one by yourself, you can select all the uh, media, uh, the, the videos and photos here by pressing Control A. Then click on this uh, auto fill icon to fill it uh, by library order or using videos first uh, in the uh, placeholder. So you can see now uh, your videos and photos are filling into all these templates automatically. Okay, then the video is done and it looks uh, pretty great. And when it's done, you can uh, simply uh, click on OK. Then you can send this uh, object back to timeline. Then you can produce your video uh, with PowerDirector. All right, so uh, this is the Sim Designer in PowerDirector 14, which is pretty easy tool for you to use. And before we start uh, the third template tool, Express Project, we want to spend some time to introduce you the main interface of PowerDirector, which is a timeline interface uh, in the full feature editor. 
So upon launching Powderage, uh, you'll see the user interface is being split in three parts. The top left part is a media room where you put all your media resources like your photos, your videos, or your music in. And there are also more other tools like the effects, PIP, particles, titles, and transitions for you to ch choose from. So this means all the elements you can use uh, to edit your video. On the top right side is the preview window where uh, you can preview um, the media content in your media room, or you can preview the real-time editing result on your timeline. In the bottom part of the interface is the timeline interface, where is a major editing um, workspace for PowerDirector. So you take a closer look at the timeline interface. So you see the timeline is uh, divided by two axes. The horizontal axis means time and friends. Okay, so you see there are four digits of number uh, in um, this timeline, which represents hour, minute, second, and frame. So for example, if you're shooting a video in 30p, means you have 30 frames in one second. So uh, you can imagine you are composing the one second of video using 30 uh, still image. So this is the frame represent four. And the horizontal axis means uh, the timeline tracks. So it's more like the layer concept. You can put things layer over layer that uh, you can create a pretty interesting mix of the video by um, using uh, different combination of the resources from your media room. So Powder to support 100 tracks of timeline. And the timeline concept is simple. That the smaller the track number is, it means it's at the background. And the larger, uh, the larger the track number is, means it's at the foreground. So for example, in track number one, we got the video as a background. And in track number two, there, are, uh, there is a PIP object. And in track number three, there is a, a text. So uh, you can get a video like this, the PIP object overlaid on the background um, video, uh, while the text is overlaid on both PIP object and uh, the background video. So this is the timeline all about. So now that's uh, launch Power Director to see how to do uh, how to use the timeline. Okay, so as you can see, I already got a lot of uh, resources available in the top left side, which are my videos and photos. And if you want to uh, resize it, uh, resize the thumbnail size, you can click on this resize button to make the icon larger or smaller. Usually I want it smaller so that I can see clearly what on the media, what's in the media room. Okay, and as you can see here, the first object in the timeline, we got the track number one, here is a video. Track number two is a PIP object. Track number three is a text. So it creates a video like this. So let me delete it first. Okay, so to edit the video, it works this way. Uh, I, can, I can drag and drop the first object to the timeline, and I can uh, trim it down by selecting the top left or right side of the video so that you got the shorter video. And I want this to be in the front, so I put it into the beginning of the video. And mouse over uh, this timeline track, you can drag left and right to adjust the size of your timelines. Now that I got the background video, next I want to add some uh, PIP object. So we got a lot of uh, objects in this PIP room. You can click on this uh, little flower sign to see it. So uh, these are the new templates from our recent released uh, theme uh, travel pack, uh, travel pack four. So there are some things like the location mark, or like this uh, navigate navigation map, or like this uh, more like a aerospace style, or like this uh, is a campus. So uh, let me choose this one. I want uh, the location mark overlaid on the background video. I can make it longer. OK, now that I want uh, uh, this mark smaller, so I can uh, adjust the size by clicking on the control handler. 
and I can move it around or even can rotate it. All right. Then next step, I want to add some text. So you can go to the text room. Here again, we have a lot of text built in. And uh, let me show you something from our latest uh, travel pack four. Okay, we got this type of uh, road trip uh, style um, title templates, or like this, or like this one. And you can not only um, import from the building template, you can also create some uh, titles by yourself. So for example, I got this uh, text I done before, I can drag it and drop it uh, to the timeline. So that you can now see uh, the text is overlaid on the template, get a video like this. Okay, so, so uh, to create a title using Power Director is also pretty simple. Uh, you can uh, go to the title room, click on this, uh, add the 2D title, 3D title, and you enter the title designer room where you can uh, type in uh, your own text. We've got some uh, tools, for example, you can uh, increase the text size, you can uh, change the font face, Like this one, okay, I put it in the center. And we also uh, got a lot of uh, preset for you to choose from if you don't know how to uh, create your own text style. And if you don't want to use a preset, uh, you can also uh, tweak with the phone setting by yourself. So you can go to a uh, phone face, uh, like I want it to be a two color gradient color and the font. So you get the text like this one. And we also got tools like uh, the reflection, which you can create a reflection effect like this. And you can also apply font shadow if you want the text to stand out. And if you want some borders by side of the text, you can uh, add the border and assign the border size and the color here. Okay, so this uh, is what the text is look like. And also uh, you can set the entrance uh, and the ending, the starting and ending effect uh, for this text. So you can go to the effect room where you can set the starting effect. For example, I choose this one as a starting effect. So the starting effect will show at uh, this time duration. So if I want to make it longer, I can drag uh, the, the darker uh, green part longer or I can drag left to make the Dr. Green part shorter so that uh, the animation will come in faster. Okay, and the same uh, at the end of the video uh, of the text uh, title, I can also add some more effect for ending like this one. And again, I can uh, use this handler to control the length of the effect. Once it's done, you can click on save and rename it then you'll see uh, this template have been added uh, in your timeline room. And to use it, just uh, drag and drop it to the timeline track. Then you'll get some video like this. So this is how you create a title by yourself. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let me take down this part. All right, and the next feature in timeline, we're going to show you a new feature in Power Director 14 called the motion tracker. So see here are two clone fishes uh, swimming uh, in the aquarium. So I add some text like Nemo and Marlin following their movement. So we are using a new tool in Power Director called the Motion Tracker to do this. And Motion Tracker allows you to uh, track a moving object in your video. And after tracking the motion path, uh, you can add some text or graphic or video or video effects to follow the movement of the, the object you track. So to use motion trackers, like the clip on timeline, go to tools and click on motion tracker. Then you will enter the motion tracking interface. Okay, now that you see a selection window, <clears throat> you can move it around and select the part you want to track. For example, I track this, uh, the head of the clownfish and click on track. 
So you'll see now powder turtle is, is starting to analyze the moving path of the first clownfish. And once it's done, I can add the text. For example, I add Nemo, and I wanted to show uh, the top left of the clownfish. And furthermore, we can change the font here. And I want it bold, italic, and I want to add the border by side of the text. Okay, so now you create uh, the first motion tracker. And uh, the bad thing about powder is a motion tracker is that you can actually track more than one object uh, in one uh, clip. So you can add uh, a tracker by clicking this icon. And I add a second tracker to track uh, the second clownfish. <clears throat> so again, uh, powder is starting to track the second clownfish, clownfish's movement. Okay, when it's done, I can again, adding a text of the second clownfish. And again, I change the font face, border, and uh, etc. Okay, now that you got this video done, so let's take a look what it looked like. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you can use it to uh, make your travel video look better, like uh, uh, marking the name of your kids when he's running around or marking uh, something you see uh, in the video you take. So once it's done, click OK. You can send uh, this object back to your timeline so you get a, a motion tracked uh, video with the moving text following the movement on your video. All right, so uh, this is for uh, the timeline interface and motion tracker. And next, we'll show you how to use uh, Express Project. So you already see this uh, short video at the beginning of our demonstration. And um, <clears throat> this video comes with a lot of nicely looking text, uh, transition, a lot of picture-in-picture uh, -picture effects. And you may probably wondering um, how long time it takes me to do this video. Three hours, five hours? No, actually, it only take me um, around 10 minutes to create this video using our new tool called the Express Project. Okay, now let me open the Express Project template so you can know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a project I created uh, previously, so I got a lot of videos and photos inside. And you see this uh, complicated timeline. They got the background image and got some uh, videos and photos overlaying on it and with a lot of this uh, PIP effect. So uh, if you want to assemble a video by yourself, uh, like this one, you, even though you are very skillful, you probably need to take like three to four hours to make everything work. However, uh, in Powder 14, we got a new feature called the Express Project that we got a lot of template um, pre-designed that you can use a template to create a, tool, a video like this. So to enter the Express Project, you can go to the media, uh, media room and select on this uh, scroll down menu and find Express Projects. Now you'll see there are a lot of uh, templates available for you to choose from. Uh, let me enlarge it up a little bit so you can see clearly. So it got themes like the adventures, like this one. Usually we use it for our travel video. And inside of each template, there are a lot of uh, placeholders, like these photos here. And we already got a lot of uh, building effects and PIPs in this template. So we got more than 20 set of uh, templates inside. So we got themes in travel, like the adventure one. We got uh, the romance one, like the anniversary. Usually people use it for wedding video. Okay, and we also got some uh, templates for action sports, like this one. That if you're action sport lovers, you can use this template. And the template I'm choosing today uh, is this one, the, navigation, uh, the navigator template. And this is a new template in our recent release, Travel Pack 4. Uh, it's pretty nice, very modern design. 
So uh, to use the uh, Express project, uh, it's very simple. Uh, you can uh, drag and drop uh, the template to your timeline. And the best thing is that uh, in the Express project, we are having uh, several different segments in one video. So we got the opening part, the middle part, and the ending part for you to choose from. And you can, uh, if you want to use uh, either of them, you just uh, click on it and drag and drop it to timeline to get uh, this uh, template being imported uh, to the timeline like this. So to add more, I can add a middle and add an ending. Then follow one by one. Okay, and another benefit for Express Project is that you can uh, mix all these templates. So for example, I want to choose another uh, set here. I just drag it and drop it to the timeline. So uh, it doesn't matter how long you want your video be. You just uh, select the, the segments you want to add to your video. So you can uh, do it pretty quick. All right, then next step, we want to replace uh, these placeholders on the template. So you see on the timeline, there are placeholders uh, sorted by number, one, two, three, four, five. And you can go back to your media room to find uh, your media content. Then the next step is very easy. Just uh, select the video or photos, and then uh, drag it and drop it to the timeline to replace uh, the placeholder. Okay, so for example, here are five different, um, uh, six different uh, segments in this video. So I just uh, replace the videos one by one. Then you'll get the video look like this. Uh, using my customized videos and photos and filling in the template with a lot of uh, pre-designed titles and transitions. And for the titles, you can uh, also edit uh, the content in the title. For example, this one is a title object that got this travel often text, and I want to change it. I simply need to double click on this object, and I can change to the text I want. And slightly locate it. And I can also change uh, this uh, month here because I go there in April. Okay, and once it's done, click on save you'll see now uh, the text have been changed into the text I want. This is pretty cool. And the best thing about timeline is that uh, you can uh, freely alter or change uh, the segment inside. For example, I want to delete this part, just uh, select it and delete it. Then I can make my video shorter. Okay, so the only thing you need to do is find the template in your Express project and replace it uh, with placeholder. And one thing to remind that uh, the Express project doesn't include any music inside because uh, um, the, the segment you choose might be different. So we didn't put the music in the Express project. So if you want the music background, you can uh, go to uh, your media room to find the music, then put it on the audio track or any timeline to add the music to the background. Then your video is done. Yeah, it just take you like uh, five, six minutes to find the right uh, template, then um, put your photos and videos in the placeholder and add your music to the timeline, then your video is ready to go. So we really we encourage you guys to try this new Express project in Powder to 14 that you don't need to take too long time to create a professional looking video. You just use the template and you can create an awesome video in short time. All right, so this is the Express Project demo. Then uh, it's all our introduction about Power Director today. So a quick reminder that Power Director is a timeline-based uh, editing tool, and we offer complete editing um, editing tools in, inside of Power Director, like you can add title, transition, part uh, particle effects, et cetera, in the video. And uh, some of you probably are pretty new to video editing and still think about that a little bit complicated. So here's a good news to share with you. We got another new member in the Power Director family called the Action Director. We just released it in um, April. And the price of uh, Action Director is a hell of a price of a Power Director. We're selling it at $49. And uh, Action Director, uh, 
it's an easier way, um, easier interface for you to use. It's using the storyboard interface. So it doesn't have that complicated multi-layer timeline. Instead, it's using a storyboard that you just need to uh, put your videos in sequence and adding background music, then your video is done. So it's a pretty easy tool to use. And if you are still um, too lazy about uh, putting together them one by one, we also have the theme designer tool inside of Action Director that you can create the video using the theme designer templates. Okay, so uh, Action Director's interface look like this. It's pretty similar to Power Director that the top left side is a media room, top right side is a preview window, uh, while the bottom side is a storyboard that we were talking about. Okay, so the storyboard is uh, you put this video by sequence, then uh, you will compose a video for you. So now that's a uh, launch action director. So upon launching action director, you'll see the same. Here's a storyboard interface. Uh, at the left side and the theme designer at the right side. And you can also see your recent projects at the bottom. So I want to start from scratch so I can open Action Director. Now that you enter this interface. And the second step, I will uh, add some of my personalized videos and photos to Action Director. So I click on the, I. I'll select uh, some videos and photos from my library, and you can drag and drop it to the media room. <clears throat> then this content are being imported. And the next thing we'll do is to compose a video. So for example, I got some videos here. I can put it, drag it and drop it to the timeline one by one. Okay, now that you already see these videos are put in sequence, and here are still four digits showing underneath the video, which means the time duration for this video. So if I want to make uh, the first clip uh, shorter, I can click on it and click the scissor sign to enter the trim interface to trim down the video a little bit. Okay, and you also see here are some uh, icons like a fix and action, spec, uh, action effects uh, above in the toolbar. So the action effect uh, allows you to add some um, action speed effect to your video. So there are um, some frequently used technique uh, in actions for video, like uh, we have uh, slow motion, fast motion, or, or we want to add um, freeze frame to highlight the part we want to highlight. So to do it, it's very simple. Uh, open this clip and create a time shift so for example, at the beginning of the video, we want the whale shark to swim faster. So we make the time shift, long, time shift longer and we uh, apply a speed effect to make it like uh, four times faster. And then in the middle of the video, we want to uh, make it uh, slow motion or make it doing like the, the, the repeat play or, re, re, uh, or reverse play. So I can add uh, some repeat and reverse effect here in this second um, second uh, time shift. And also I want the third play slower so uh, I can make it uh, slower. So the last play uh, will be slower. And also in this shot, I want to uh, apply a few more things like I want to create a free freeze frame and then I want to create a rooming effect so I can uh, add the freeze frame and apply zooming effect to the part I want to highlight. I want to highlight on this part Okay, now it's done, so let's take a look what the video look like. So see this uh, repeat play two times plus the third time is a slow motion. And here we got the highlighted uh, freeze frame. So it's pretty easy to apply this kind of uh, action effect uh, in Action Director. And we also have this feature in Power Director. So if you want to use it in Power Director, uh, the same click on the um, footage on your timeline and select tool and action, sports, uh, action camera center, then you can enter the same interface. And also we got some other effect like um, the fix and enhancement. So for example, this video, the color, uh, because it's in, uh, in, in a cloudy day, so the color isn't that good. So I can go to the fix panel. <clears throat> Sorry, 
where I can choose some color preset to make it um, more visually pleasing. So I have this uh, countryside effect. So there you can see the green part and the blue part are being enhanced, which is good. I can add it back to my timeline. And next, we want to add some titles to the beginning of the video. So we can go to the title room and select the title we want. For example, I want to add this one. Select it and drag and drop it to the timeline. Now you have a title at the beginning and click on the edit side to enter the interface. And I can edit the test. And you will get the title look like this one. Good. Then I can click on save, click on OK to bring it back to timeline. Now that you got the video with some nicely looking titles at the beginning. And uh, you also got some videos. You've applied the video uh, replay effects. OK, and one more thing you can add is a transition. That between the clip, you want the transition be smoother. So you can go to transition room and drag and drop some transitions between the clip. Now you'll get a video with transition like this. The transition will be added uh, between the clips. All right. Then the last thing, uh, we want to add some music. So you can click on this Add Music icon and select the music track you want. And you can, like, uh, if you want to trim down the music, you can do this. And you can also apply something like the auto fade in, fade out to make the music better. Now your video is done and ready to share and with a nice uh, music track in the background. Okay, so when it's done, you can click on produce. Then you can produce it to, to, um, to file or share on Facebook and YouTube using Action Director. So uh, Action Director is a pretty easy tool for you to use if you don't want uh, a very complicated video editing software or like a Power Director, then you can use Action Director Storyboard to create a video uh, in pretty short time. All right. Then uh, comes to the last part. We want to show you some mobile apps of uh, cyber, uh, from Cyberlink. So the first app we want to show you is PowerDirector Mobile. Yes, we got the mobile version uh, for PowerDirector. And it's only available on uh, Play Store uh, for Android version. So the PowerDirector Mobile uh, it shares the same experience as a desktop version. So it provides very powerful timeline editing interface that you can freely um, arrange the sequence of your footage and you can easily trim, rotate, adjust the video speed uh, using the tools inside. And we also got a lot of templates in uh, PowerDirector Mobile. You can add uh, things like video effects or like uh, adding some stickers, titles, and transition to your video to make it better. And if you want to share your video, uh, you can use PowerDirector Mobile to export video uh, up to full HD quality. But uh, I want to remind you that the, uh, the free version of PowerDirector only allows you to export to SD quality. And if you want to export to full HD quality video, uh, you need to upgrade uh, with uh, $5.99 uh, $5 uh, with uh, in-app upgrades for PowerDirector. So if you try this software and you really like it, you can consider in-app upgrade. Um, uh, in-app purchase to upgrade to the, the paid version. And if you only need the standard resolution um, software, then uh, you, you, you can simply use the free version. Okay, and one interesting feature in PowerDirector Mobile is the support for Cyberlink Cloud. So uh, for example, if you are going out, you use your smartphone to shoot a lot of video, and you want to uh, produce your video on, on, on the way, so you produce some video, but still you want to make it um, better uh, when you go back home, you want to use a PC to edit your software. So in this case, you can um, upload um, your project from uh, your mobile phone to Cyberlink Cloud and go back to your PC to download the project to continue editing it on PowerDirector Desktop. 
which is pretty nice and pretty uh, good tool for those people who have a lot of uh, requirement for editing on the go, or you are using um, mobile phone as part of your editing devices. So now let's take a look at the uh, PowerDirector mobile. So here's a screen of my phone, so you can launch PowerDirector mobile. So see, this is a welcome interface where uh, you can see some project you edited before are showing here. And if you want to create a new project, simply click on the new project icon. Click on OK, you enter the editing interface. So here you see three icons, uh, which means your videos and photos and music. Okay, so to uh, add a uh, to add a video to timeline is easy. Uh, click on the, the the folder to open, then uh, click on the video. Click on this plus sign, then you can uh, start to add footage to your timeline. So, like I want uh, five videos in total. And you can use your uh, finger to scroll uh, on the timeline to the part you want. And the next thing is that if you want to uh, trim down the video, simply select on the clip, then uh, use this controller handle control handlers to make it shorter. So I'm going to trim down all these five clips, simply select them and make them shorter. All right, so now that uh, you see this video are shorter, they are being trimmed. And next step, we want to add some uh, opening text and uh, some uh, graphical icon uh, objects in the beginning part. So you can go to this overlay icon to select text, where we got a lot of uh, building text for you to choose from. So I choose this uh, plain text. And again, I want to make it shorter. And to edit the text, click on it. You can uh, enter some text you want. And click on OK to send the text back to uh, back to timeline. And you can uh, use a control handler to resize it. I think uh, this text is a little bit a little bit uh, plain, so I want to add one more thing. I want to add a sticker to decorate it. So I got we got a lot of uh, building stickers in the sticker room, and if you want to get more, you can click on this Get More, where you can download more stickers uh, to your video. So uh, the stickers with this video icon means it's an animated uh, sticker. All right. So for example, I want to add this geotag. And I can move it a little bit front. Okay, now you see the geotag has been added to your video. And we want to resize it. The same, click on this control handler to resize this, uh, the location mark and check it and drop to the place you want. So now that you already see uh, the animated object and the text have been added, all right, and uh, the next step, we want to add some transitions between each clips. So you can click on this transition icon where you can uh, enter the transition room interface. You can click on the plus sign to add uh, the transition. Uh, And we got more than 20 transitions for you to choose from. So it's very simple. Click on the transition uh, placeholder you want to replace, then add a transition to your timeline. All right, and uh, uh, again, if you want to create some slow motion or fast motion video, like this one, we want to make it uh, slower, then we can click on uh, slower or faster. We can select uh, this clip and go to this edit icon. 
Here you can see a lot of uh, more tools like a uh, volume. You can uh, mute the clip or turn uh, off if you want the volume up or volume down, you can uh, switch that volume and you can crop the video or you can do things like rotate the video. If you are taking your video uh, in a vertical uh, composition, you probably need to turn it to horizontal. You can use this rotate icon. Okay. And the thing we want to do here is speed. So we click on speed and we can apply some speed effect like I want it faster. I want it uh, three, uh, four times fast, two times faster. And I want the starting and ending be smoother. So I apply the ease in and ease out. So now you get a video like this. All right, so if everything is done, then next I want to add some music track uh, to this video. So I go back to the media room and select some music I want to add. All right, so now everything is done. Let's take a look what it looked like. We got this video with uh, some titles, great, uh, great transitions, and with background music. Okay, everything seems nice right now, so you can go ahead and produce a video. So you can click on this produce video icon where you can either uh, save this project to gallery or share on Facebook or YouTube. Or if you want to produce to file format, you can produce to full HD, HD, and SD quality. And remind again, therefore, the full HD up, uh, output only supported in the uh, paid version. So you can do, uh, if you're using the free version, when you attempt to click on this full HD icon, you will pop up a, a upgrade option uh, to ask you if you want to upgrade to the full version. Then it only take you 5.99 if you want to produce the full HD video. And the last one is the uh, export to Sublink Cloud. So we can uh, do this and click on export. Then Powder to Mobile will start to uploading files to your Cyberlink Cloud space. Uh, then uh, if you want to continue editing using your desktop later on, uh, you can use this icon, uh, you, you can use this feature. All right, so uh, let me show you, uh, this is the, the file I uploaded previously. So you'll get the project file like this one, and you also got the media resources I use in this video are being archived and being downloaded, and the music I use, and also the PIP object I use in this video. So I can uh, open this project again to continue editing on my <clears throat> power director on my PC. So you see now uh, all the media and music are in place and this video uh, with the titles and PIP you set are being imported as well. So you can continue with further editing uh, on, your, on your desktop if you want to continue uh, with more uh, sophisticated or more um, complete editing uh, effects. Uh, using Power Director desktop. Okay, so uh, that's an introduction for um, Power Director Mobile. So again, it's available on Google Play Store and you can download it for free. Uh, we didn't put the limitation on most of the features, so you can use it freely. And if you want to have a higher quality uh, Full HD output, or if you want to uh, remove the watermark at the, uh, on the video, and then you can um, upgrade to our full version with a $5.99 dollar. All right, then the last app we are showing you is Photo Director Mobile. So uh, you guys already know that we have a Photo Director on PC and Mac for years. And now that we are bringing the experience for uh, the of uh, photo editing to uh, your smartphone as well. So we provide the Photo Director Mobile for uh, uh, Android and for iOS. So Photo Director Mobile provides a lot of uh, great tools for you to choose from, like uh, easy crop or rotate and a lot of tools for you to adjust the colors like the saturation or using the curve tool and you can uh, use uh, the removal tool if you want to uh, get rid of somebody in your photo and we also have the HDR effect and we have another effect called the insta, insta feel which uh, can easily turn your 16 by 9 photos to one by one aspect ratio uh, which you want to upload to your Instagram and we also allows you to use uh, a lot of freeze uh, frames and collages uh, in photo director mobile so let's take a look at the photo director mobile's demo
All right, so upon launching photo data mobile, you'll see, uh, uh, you'll see uh, four icons. Uh, there are edit, collage, templates, and tutorials. And click on edit. Uh, you can find the files on your phone uh, to do the editing. So for example, I go to my gallery to find some photos uh, from my recent trip to Okinawa. So I choose this one. All right, the first thing I want to fix here is that uh, this is a nice beach uh, in Okinawa. However, there's this, this little rock uh, on the beach, which don't look so good. So I want to get rid of it. So you can click on this removal tool. Then use your finger to select the rock, the object you want to remove, and click on apply. OK, pretty cool. Now that this rock has been removed, this is the original one, and this is the edited one. Good. Click on yes. Then this is not enough. I want to do some tweak with the colors. So I can go to the adjustment tool. The first thing I will use is a curve tool. So if you are um, familiar with uh, photo editing or image processing, you probably know uh, the curve tool very well. So I want to enhance the highlighted part, make it brighter by making the darker part darker, which we usually say this is a highlight and shadow effect in the photo editing. So it's, when it's done, you can see the color is getting better, more condensed. This is the original one and the edited one. Click on yes to save it. And the next step, I still want um, to enhance some color. For example, I want the blue part be bluer. So it got this saturation tool where you can increase the saturation for all the, vid uh, all the photo. Okay. And we also got this pointing tool. You click on this pointing side, then pick on the part on your photo, uh, finger up to increase the blue part, finger down to decrease the blue part. So it's pretty easy to use. So now that you can see uh, the blue is very, very blue. Once it's done, click on yes. Okay, you can save it. And we also have the HDR effect in, um, in the adjustment tool. So we can use HDR to uh, enhance more detail or add more like a dramatic look to your photo, like this one. Okay, this is a before. And with the HDR effect, you see everything is standing out. Okay, okay. Um, now this photo is pretty nice, but because I want to share it to my Instagram, so I want um, I, I usually Instagram only allow you uh, allows you to upload a one by one photo, but this original photo is sixteen by nine, and I don't want to crop it because I think uh, the coastline is looking pretty good, so I can use this. Um, Insta field feature in Photo Director, which will automatically uh, automatically add a blur background at the top at the and the bottom to make it one by one. Then you got a nice photo uh, to use for Instagram. And I also want to add some frames, so you can go to Frame Room to uh, choose a frame you like, and you can also click on this more to download more frames. If you want more colorful uh, frames, you can also choose from the frame room. So I choose the most plain one, like this one. Click on OK. And the last thing, I want this uh, photo to look like a postcard. So I want to add some text to it. So I can add text. Hmm. Ooh. And it's like, yes, now I got the text on the photo. And we also got uh, a, a huge range of colors for you to customize, or you can also choose different font if you want to, uh, to make it different. So I choose this font and adjust the, uh, the position a little bit. Click on yes. Now your photo is done. You can click on save to send it to your Instagram. And you don't need to do the crop again because it's been perfectly made in one by one. And you don't need to apply any preset anymore. So simply uh, upload it um, by adding some hashtags or some text. Then click on OK. Then you'll see now that uh, this photo has been added to my Instagram. Pretty nice. All right, so this is the first demo for uh, Photo Director.
And next, we'll show you something more that uh, we got this new feature called the splash, which can help you um, isolate the color. For example, you want to only highlight one color in your photo while making other parts black and white. So I'll choose uh, these photos of the flower. So you can see the flower is in pink and uh, yellow, while uh, the, the leaf at the background is in uh, green. And I want to get rid of the green part. I only want to keep the flower color so I can go to this splash tool, then select it, uh, select the pink part. So you can see now the pink part has been selected. However, um, the yellow part has gone, so you can click on this eraser icon, click on add to add the part you want to keep. Okay, now it looks good, but there's still some part in the background uh, here, still in, um, still in red, so I can click on this minus icon to brush on it. Okay, good, now that I got the photo with the background removed, uh, and background turned to black and white, white while the flower is still, uh, still in pink. So you can see this is, uh, is pretty nice, so we can click on yes to save it. And we still want to make it uh, standing out more, so we got another tool called uh, the blur tool, where you can apply this uh, radio blur effect that will put, make the background part more blurred while the flower part remain clear. Okay, done. Now that you've got these nice photos ready to share. So this is uh, the demonstration for Splash and the Blur tool. All right, then the last one we are going to do is pretty interesting. It's the reflection effect. So this is the temple I visited in Okinawa. And it's in it's on the solid ground, but I want it to show like it's uh, by a riverside or by a lakeside that with a reflection. So uh, we got this new tool called Miro. So the Miro allows you to create a Miro image like this. Okay, so I I, I select the top and under uh, layout, and I can uh, using the drag and drop tool uh, the the drag tool to drag to the position I want. So now that it looks like it's floating on the water, good. But the reflected part, it's a little bit fake. Still, we want to add some uh, water ripple to it. So we can go to the Blender tool. The Blender tool allows you to uh, blend and overlay an image on your photos. So you can use the image uh, built into Powder, uh, Photo Director Mobile, or you can add uh, from your gallery by yourself. So for example, I choose this uh, water image and adjust the position a little bit. Now you see uh, the temple, the reflected part is in the water with the ripple. And we got a lot of uh, different uh, overlay type. It's like this hard line, screen, multiply, or overlay. I think the overlay one is uh, look more nature. So I select it and click uh, yes. Now it created this uh, reflected uh, effect. And the next thing we'll add here is that I still want to want it to look a little bit uh, more retro style. So we can go to the overlay and we got uh, some light leak effect that it can simulate as a light leak effect like you're taking the photo using film. So we got a, a wide range of light leak effect for you to choose from. So for example, I choose this one, click yes. And also uh, one other thing we can add here is the lens flare. You can do things like lens flare. You can move it around, and uh, you can resize it or rotate it. Okay, and the last thing is that I want the lower part be a little bit blurred so that it will look real. So I go to the blur tool. I choose the linear type where I can choose to uh, turning uh, the reflective part a little bit blurred. All right, it's done. It's pretty nice. And the last thing I will add is to write some text on it. <clears throat> so we got this pretty cool tool called the pen tool that you can write something on it. So in the pen tool, you can see um, here is the style. 
where we can do things like this neon light or this or like this okay so i'll choose the neon light one and i want to choose a color make the border in pink and the size small or uh, smaller when it's done i can write on uh, my photo Yep, so it's done, Click save. You got this nice photos created by yourself and it's, uh, it's from a mobile app. And the bad thing is that this mobile app is free. So if you want to try it, you can uh, go to Play Store and uh, iOS Store to search for Photo Director Mobile and to download it. Okay, so that's for uh, today's presentation and I'll give you guys